If you've been following my videos, you know that we arrived in Spain the week before Christmas 2015, and now it's April, so this is coming into our fourth month now that we've been living here. By the beginning of February, we moved in, fully furnished. We had to get a couple of things, things like bedding um, and a couple of other odds and ends. But everything else was here. The only thing we didn't have, believe it or not, and we did miss it, was a toaster. But we survived another four weeks because by the beginning of March, the first of March, matter of fact, Britannia removals turned up with all our stuff from the UK. Now, the two guys that arrived <laughs> with our stuff, I knew one of them. Now, how unusual is that? Yeah. Terry. So uh, Terry did a great job. Two guys turned up at 10 and by 4 o'clock well, they'd finished. It was a complete shipping container. But yeah, really impressed. Wherever we wanted it, down in the basement here or upstairs, they did it. No grumbles. Great job. So we had all our stuff and I suppose the next two to three weeks, even now, we've got stuff in here that we haven't touched yet. Um, but the main stuff that we needed for the house is all unpacked now and we did a couple trips to the charity shop locally because some of the stuff we just didn't need. During March we sorted out the insurance for the house. In Spain they do it on one piece so it's house contents, building insurance and public liability all in one uh, policy. Luckily where we live um, there's a couple of insurance companies here anyway, so we got some quotes in to see what, what's the best deal. I was really pleased with Ibex anyway, with through the car insurance that I tried to sort out. So, as you can bet, I went through them. We also had the air conditioning fitted. Um, the place that we bought had central heating, which was a plus, and we did need the central heating because uh, we did feel the cold once we was here at the beginning because it does get cold at nights and during February yeah, during, sorry, during January and February the weather was quite cold so uh, the heating we needed because if you haven't got we had we got oil central heating a lot of the villas here does have a log burner which to be honest is probably enough really but it's just nice getting up in the morning, going into the bathroom, and it's nice and warm. But we also had, we didn't have air conditioning, but so we've had air conditioning put into our bedroom and into the sitting room. So I hope we really get the benefit of that during the summer. We also got a swimming pool, and um, yeah, swimming pools need cleaning. So we um, had some put a thing out on Facebook, there's a Facebook page where, we, where we're staying now, which is really helpful. So any time that we uh, are not sure of, you know, we do need some information. Um, yeah, brilliant. So I put out on there how much would it cost to have the pool cleaned every month. And the prices seem to vary between 40 to 60 euros a month. And then somebody said, well, why don't you do it yourself, legs bugger? <laughs> and someone offered to come round, Vinny did a good job, so he come round and showed us how to, the main thing that we had problems with was understanding how the pump works. So he showed us the workings of the pump, he showed us the, uh, the chemicals that we need to put into the water and also check. It's quite a lot into it, I didn't realise so much into it, but once you get into a routine, it's quite simple really. You've got to hoover the bottom and scrub the sides and obviously check the water. And as the months go on, especially in the summer months, it looks like we'll be doing it every day really, and also topping up. So that was another learning curve while we're here. Another thing that we have also had to sort out was the car. Because once you get in Spain, after about two to three months, you need to change the plates, especially if you've got a right-hand drive car which we had. As in my previous video, um, you probably well know that I just couldn't sell it here. I had a problem with dealers and part exchange places 
for that. They just didn't want to know the car really, unless I'd give it to them, obviously. <laughs> so I went back to the UK, but also before I went back to the UK, because my wife was staying behind anyway, looking after my dog, I'd, um, we went down into the car here to the main dealers there and bought a fairly newish car. So we got a left-hand drive car now with Spanish plates. I went back to the UK, sold my right-hand drive car, which was good, so I've come back now. Private health insurance. Now, private health insurance here is quite complicated. It's best to get quite a few quotes, and if you can, get the agents to come around and explain it to you, because the brochure is very nice, looks very pretty in print. But it, there's so much in there you need to know about, and I'm not going to dribble on about it. Other than if you are coming to Spain or anywhere else, check the small print, find out the ins and outs. There's lots you can do. You can, if you want, you can just go down to the doctors and just pay for the doctors. But don't forget, they don't all speak English, so you might need an interpreter. But the worst of it is, we all know. We have accidents, and if you fall over, that ain't going to be no good because then you need an ambulance, you're going to need another interpreter at the hospital. So it's best to get a private health insurance. And we're going for residency, so we, could, we have to have it anyway. So we've gone down into Mazaron, um, we went to a proper Spanish clinic there that does private health insurance, and they've done the full lot. They do uh, obviously your health, the hospital, anything that's ongoing and also dental because that's another thing you've got to think about is your, dent your teeth so yeah um, we just got to go down next week now to have a proper health check so what, what the doctor is trying to explain to us that they're going to build the records from, from of us now so we're going to have a proper check, blood tests x-rays, uh, scan, to see what's going on with our bodies, which, uh, yeah, looking forward to. <laughs> looking forward to being jabbed at. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vid.